more than 30 films were released as part of the Carry On franchise, and many of the cast went on to land starring roles in iconic films and soaps, like EastEnders and Doctor Who. Kenneth Williams and Barbara Windsor are just two famous faces to come out of the franchise, which debuted with a film and later spawned into a TV series, several festive specials and other projects between 1958 and 1992. As a behind-the-scenes documentary of the Carry On films airs tonight on Channel 5, we've taken a look at what happened to some of the cast members in the years since they appeared. Kenneth Williams Kenneth Williams starred in more Carry On films than any of his co-stars, appearing in 25 installments, and he co-presented the compilation film That's Carry On, in 1977. The actor, who was in the films between 1958 and 1978, continued to work after leaving the franchise, including directing plays and featuring on the TV show Jack and Ori. Other credits in his latter years include voicing the characters in the cartoon series Willow the Wisp in 1981. His final film role was in The Princess and the Cobbler in 1993. Kenneth died aged 62 on April 15, 1988. The cause of death is said to have been an overdose of barbiturates. An inquest reportedly recorded an open verdict, so it's unknown whether it was intentional or an accident. Joan Sims Joan Sims appeared in 24 films throughout her career. Alongside being in the likes of Carry On Nurse, she was also in episodes of the TV series Carry On Laughing. She continued to act following her departure from the franchise appearing in projects like Doctor Who, Only Fools and Horses and A Murder is announced in the 1980s. Joan reportedly fell into a coma in 2000. She's said to have later briefly regained consciousness but died on June 27, 2001, at the age of 71. It's been reported that she died from liver failure and diverticulitis, alongside other contributing factors. Barbara Windsor Barbara Windsor appeared in nine of the films and co-presented That's Carry On. She also featured in Carry On Laughing and some TV specials, like some of her co-stars. More than a decade after her stint in the franchise, she was cast as Peggy Mitchell on EastEnders. She first played the role from 1994 to 2010, before returning from 2013 to 2016. Her other credits include a role in Doctor Who and the character of Malin Kun in the film Alice in Wonderland 2010 and its 2016 sequel. Barbara was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2014 and helped raise awareness around dementia. She later died on December 10, 2020, aged 83. Sid James Sid James appeared in almost 20 of the Carry On films. The actor, who received top billing for most of his appearances, featured in the likes of Carry On Doctor and Carry On Dick. Towards the end of his stint in the franchise, he continued to star in sitcoms too in Clover and Bless This House. He appeared in the latter from 1971 until his death in 1976. Sid, who was married to fellow actor Valerie James at the time of his passing, died, aged 62, on April 26, 1976. The father of four suffered a heart attack whilst on stage in a production of The Mating Season. It's been said that the incident was initially thought to be a practical joke. Charles Hawtrey Charles Hawtrey was among the cast in 23 of the films. He had roles in the likes of Carry On Cabbie and Carry On Cleo, with his final film having been Carry On Abroad back in 1972. The actor didn't appear in any films following his departure from the franchise. 
He did however feature in a few TV projects such as The Princess and the Pea, released in 1979. has said to have collapsed and shattered his femur in 1988 and reportedly discovered that he had peripheral vascular disease. The condition affects the arteries. It's been reported that he was told his legs would have to be amputated to save his life but refused the operation. has said to have died days later, aged 73, on October 27, 1988. Hadi Jacques Hadi Jacques was a cast member in 14 of the Carry On films. The actor appeared in the likes of Carry On Matron and Carry On Constable over more than a decade. She continued to appear in the sitcom Sykes following her departure, playing Harriet Sykes from 1972 until 1979. She also had a role in the comedy film Three for All back in 1975. The actor experienced various health issues towards the end of her life, including arthritis and ulcerated legs. She had surgery for benign tumors on her kidneys in 1974. The mother of two died on October 6, 1980, aged 58, from a heart attack. It's been reported that she was also suffering from kidney failure at the time of her death. Carry On, Secrets and Scandals documentary airs on Channel 5 at 9pm tonight.